The term good person is odd to me. It wasn't always, though. Uh, at one time in my blinded past, I thought myself to be one. But uh, through my spiritual maturing in Christ, I've, I've come to realize that a good person is just a mythological being. The likelihood of find, finding such a character is rivaled only by the ongoing search for Bigfoot or the abominable, abominable snowman. Or is that the same thing in just a different climate? I digress. Actually, you're more likely to find Bigfoot than you are to find a good person. Now, if you would disagree with me about that, I can tell you why we differ. And it's all about the standard of measurement that's being used. For instance, if I call something large and I use a pebble as my measuring stick, then there are going to be lots of things in this world that should be considered large. But if my standard is the Grand Canyon, then now we have several less things that can qualify uh, to be labeled as such. Back when I thought uh, that good people actually existed and that I might be counted amongst them, I had a pebble for a measuring stick. Qualifications for meeting this description included being better behaved than most people, whatever that means and as if we have any actual way of knowing it to be true. Doing good deeds like giving money to nonprofit groups and helping an old lady cross the street were the kinds of behaviors that one might find in a good person. So, on this flawed scale, we might draw Hitler on one side representing a bad person and perhaps Gandhi on the other side representing a good person. Supposing you land somewhere in the middle of these two extremes, but manage to beat out a majority by at least one percent, I ask you, does that make you a good person? It doesn't take long to see what a silly exercise this can be and how maddening the comparison game can become. And where does one draw the line? Most of us, if we're honest, draw it so that we're always included in the category of good regardless of where we fall on that sliding scale. And it's that very honesty that I want to appeal to as I challenge you to take a long, hard look at yourself. Examine any given day or week of your life and see how well you hold up. In that time frame, did you manage to go, go the whole week without telling any lies, be they big or small, gossiping about friends or family or even enemies? Did you go without looking lustfully at someone? Did you go without using profane words or losing your temper in traffic? Did you go the whole time without being too focused on the material or acquiring wealth or chasing that toy you've had an eye on? What about eating or drinking too much? My answer to, these, to this challenge, if I'm honest, is no. On my best day, in 36 years of life, I have violated categories of moral attributes that a good person would surely possess. Does that surprise you? After all, aren't I the guy that has made a series on objective morality over the past month? Well, that leads me to the secondary point of this video. In case it's not already crystal clear, Morality and where a person stacks up on this sliding scale does not depend on whether you believe as I do. You can get to the last video in this series never agreeing with me that we have an absolute objective moral standard and still be more of a moral person than I am. I have never and will never claim that just by being an atheist you will inherently be immoral just because you hold to that world view. That's exactly why we all need a Savior. There was only ever one that measured up to God's standard, and let me tell you, it's not a sliding scale. His standard is complete holiness and perfection. Unless you've managed to achieve that from birth till death, you need Christ to atone for your failures. It is the one that did achieve perfection that can intercede on your behalf and extend you mercy and grace. Please do not rest on your own laurels. 
Now only you know what's kept in that dark closet of mistakes, regrets, failures, and sins. I cannot specifically call you out on any of them. But I'm willing to bet, in the length of this video, several of them have popped into your mind. And I'm sorry to inform you that this proves that you're not good. At least not by the one standard that matters. So instead of trying to do it all yourself, Trust in Christ Jesus and begin that relationship with Him today.